Hello and welcome back to our YouTube channel. And today we're going to talk about a new feature in the Happy Next. This feature is known as customizable or conditional notifications. While walking, it is very important that we get notifications for certain project or tasks so that we can keep ourselves informed and up to date, right? So, this feature uh, which is present in Yappy Next would help you set customizable or conditional notifications that could be sent through four channels which we will discuss further in the video to the receiver of your choice. So without any further ado, let's head right into the process. First, I'll go to the awesome bar and I'll type notification list. And I'll click on add notification. Now let us give our new notification a name. Let's say this is sale order submission. Now I'm taking up a scenario over here that uh, a sales team user creates a new sale order. So a bell or a system notification will be sent to his uh, sales manager when he submits that sale order. So let me show you how to do it. First of all, we'll give the name to the notification. Then I'll select the channel. Now I want the system notification or the bell notification over here. So I'll select that. Otherwise, we have four options. One is through email. A, uh, a email would be sent to the user you gonna set as the receiver here. Or Slack. Well, a URL for a Slack webhook is a direct link to a, a Slack channel. And this is a popular cloud-based notification for communication and collaboration. So if you are aware about the slack and you would you would want to use it you can just choose this option then there is system notification which is this bell icon that we will be using in our scenario and then there's sms that an sms should be sent to the recipient well i chose system notification now what would be the subject of this notification so it would be sale order I'm going to type here doc name so that the notification also contains the name of the document or the sale order number or the sale order name for which I am sending this notification and submit it because I want to show that this has this particular document has been submitted. Now I'll select select the doc type. which is sale order now send alert on if it's a new creation a new sales order has been created a new sales order uh, a sales order have been saved a sales order has been submitted cancelled days after days before or the value has been changed well i want it to be at the submitted submission so i'll click on submit I can also add additional conditions like if the total is less than 40,000 or the due date is not equal to the now date or any such condition I can enter here. Right now I'll leave it blank. Then I have to select my receiver which is the sales manager in our case and I'll save this. You can also add a message over here. If you want a personalized message to be sent along with the notification, I'm going to leave it blank because I don't want to. And then you just go and click on save. Now this new notification has no, uh, been saved. This is a conditional or a customized notification. And this is enabled so it will work. Now let us create a sales order from the same sales team user. I'll select a customer 
I'll give them a delivery date. Let's see, we are selling in iWatch. And save. A notification would not be sent right now because I've just saved the sales order. The moment I click on submit, a notification would be sent to the manager. Now let me take you to the manager's account and I'll show you how the notification is gonna look like. Now I have logged in from the ma uh, sales manager's account. This is my dashboard. And in here you can see that I have a new system notification. I'll click on it and you can see that a sales order and the sale document name has been submitted just now. So because we wrote doc name, I also got the name or the number of the sales order over here. So it is very easy and quick to set up customizable notifications in your ERP Next database. And it would also allow you to keep yourself informed, stay on top of your critical tasks and send notifications very smoothly through four different channels. If you have any questions regarding this particular feature or just about ERP Next or ERPs in general, you can book a consultation with us and get free consultation from us and answers to your curious questions. Other than that, we keep on coming with videos wherein we explore different features of ERPs or we introduce our new apps and we would love if you would subscribe to our channel because then you would be very much updated to the ERP world. Thank you.